Hello, this is a quick guide to finding what you need with the Oregon Tech Libraries. This is the library homepage, which can be found at www.oit.edu slash libraries. Today, we're going to talk about the search box in the center and how to find books, articles, and more. But before that, I want to talk about electronic resources. If you were to click on the electronic resources link, this is the page that you would get. We have access to more than 100 electronic resources and hundreds of thousands of articles, books, and other items through these resources. You can click on one of the resources, such as Academic Search Complete, and search it directly. If you're not sure where to begin, you can click on Find by Subject, Find Your Subject, and we'll let you know some of the resources that are available in that area. But first, back to the library homepage and using that main search box. Here, I've typed in monkeys. When I hit Go, it's going to do the search for me. We have a couple of different things we see when we've done a search. Up at the top, you can see the search that I've done. In the far right-hand corner, it calls me guest. That's because I haven't logged on yet. In the middle, a blue arrow points to the sign in link. I can click there and I can sign in, or I can click on the word guest and I can sign in there. These will give me more options than what I'm seeing right now. On the far right-hand side, I can refine my results. I can do this by resource type, subject, language, and many other options. If I click on one of these, it will automatically refine my results to that resource or that filter. If I mouse over one of those filters, it will also give me the option to exclude those types of resources. When I first do a search, I can see the title of the item, how it's available, an author, and any other types of relevant brief information. If I click on the title, this is the page that I see. I have a number of different options, including getting a citation, a permanent link to this page, I can email, print, or send that resource to something such as EasyBib. If it's an electronic resource, I will have access to the link right in the middle of the page. And if I haven't signed in yet, it gives me another option to sign in. When I'm done with this page, I can click on the X on the right hand side. From this page and from the previous page, I have this pin mark. I can use this pin to save my results. More on that later. If I'm looking at a resource that is a print resource that Oregon Tech doesn't have on the shelf, I will see an option to place a summit request. It takes about three to five business days for a physical item to arrive from a summit library to Oregon Tech. You will get an email that lets you know when it's there. This is what the request form looks like. You all you have to do is tell it the delivery location, so which library you would like it delivered to, and then hit Request. If you were to click on the upper right-hand corner after your request, this is some of the options that you would see. So these are all things that I have pinned, and they are my favorites. I can also view my saved searches and my search history at the top where this arrow is. If I have requested anything, I can click on my library card and I can view my loans, anything that I've requested, any fines or fees that I have, and any other details that I might need to know. If you have any questions, please contact us at libtech at oit.edu or one of these two phone numbers. Thank you.